Patrick, the fight and the determination of the team and to get the win, and especially to Frank, you know, he's honored before the game for 300 goals and uh, to score the way that he did at the end. You know, what did you think of that? This is the, um, I think the fans and the, the people in front of the TV really enjoyed the game because of the scenario of the game. Um, it wasn't a pretty game. I don't think we played um, our best game, our best football. But sometimes it's important to, uh, to win when you don't play well. And, uh, and I think tonight we show a lot of character, a lot of desire, a lot of passion. And, um, and we keep believing until the end. Um, and of course he's taking something special to, uh, to score at the crucial period of the game. And, uh, and tonight he was frank and, um, and I was, uh, I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased for him because, uh, because he went through a difficult period in the preseason where he didn't play. And the way that he responded was uh, it's, it's fantastic. I think he just showed how, uh, how good he is, but we never had any doubt about his talent. And um, to see him scoring goals, that's something that he used to. But to keep scoring goals at this level, I think, is, um, is terrific. <coughs> After uh, introducing Kyrie there to lead the attack, can you talk about his contribution and how important he was? Did come back? It was, um, it was really important. Um, he did what, uh, what I was expecting him to do. I was, uh, I was really pleased. And, um, and the way that he played in the last 15 minutes, that is the way that he trained in the last 10, 15 days. Um, I think he, uh, he became a little bit more mature. I think uh, him not getting in the squad and not playing a lot of football in the last few, uh, few weeks um, make him work even harder in training and um, and I'm really pleased with the impact that he had when he came on but the same for Mendoza I think Mendoza uh, brings something the same way that Federico came on in the, in the beginning of the second half and uh, and it's important because that shows how uh, how important it is when you come from the bench but it's showing as well that uh, that we have some really good players who can have an impact during the game Patrick, you made a lot of adjustments in that second. Going into that second half, you take off McNamara from Mendoza. Uh, your old came off. Uh, what was sort of the change in tactics at halftime that you discussed with your uh, with the coaching staff and with the team? And then secondly, obviously, you're learning about this New York City crowd and the fans are very passionate people. You know, how do you feel your younger players welcomed a very intense atmosphere in, in the final ten minutes of that game, even though you guys continue to press on? Yeah, I think the, the idea is to bring Federico and, um, and Mendoza was to bring a little bit more intensity in our game because I felt uh, with the staff that in the first half we, um, we were a little bit too uh, passive and uh, we wanted to put them a little bit more, more pressure. And, um, and of course when, um, when you don't play well, you need the crowd to, uh, to be behind and to lead you. And, uh, and I think tonight uh, they, were, they were fantastic. I think that is one of the best atmosphere since, uh, since I'm in this football club. And, uh, and they've always been behind the team, give them the support. And, uh, and we, needed, we needed them to, uh, to win that game. And, uh, and I'm really happy because, uh, because they fully deserve that win as well, because they've always been behind the team, supporting the team. So today is a really good night for the football club because, uh, because we show our togetherness and the relationship that we have in the football club with the players, the fans, and uh, and that's really good. It was it's a really good night for us. Yeah, Patrick, I, um, conceding late is almost like a, a bad habit come back to life, which you seem to put in the past a little bit. Um, it must have been disappointing, but um, does that, that you were able to come back, do these kind of games, no. they build well for the player? No, I think, um, I think the, the, the second goal we, uh, we concede, um, I look at it again and, um, and sometimes you just have to put your hand in the air and, uh, and congratulate the, the team because it was, a, it was a good corner and it was, a, it was a really good header. So yes, we didn't defend it well because at that period we needed to be a little bit more focused and a little bit more tight. And when we give them space and, and we get punished. Um, but I think what, uh, what I will keep is, is the way that the team reacts. And uh, with few uh, few minutes to go, we uh, we find the energy and the determination to uh, to push again and uh, and carry making that cross and Frank uh, being really cold in front of the goal, really clinical and 
And it was a hard game. And a hard game and DC make it really difficult for us. Hi, Patrick. Uh, how would you compare the performance tonight to Orlando last weekend? I think we play a little bit more. I think in Orlando uh, it was difficult to take something because we only play 15 minutes. Uh, but I think tonight uh, the intensity was there from, from the second half, but it's not enough from what we want. And I think um, we have to be a little bit more consistent during the games. We want to play the way we play in the second half, but for the 95 minutes. And, um, and we have to work even harder because it can be a physical, mental problem, but we need to improve and to, uh, to start games much better. There's a lot more parity in the Eastern Conference this year than in years past, a lot more competition. What do you got to do to remain, remain consistent, uh, to remain one of the top teams in this Eastern Conference, you know, seeing what Toronto's doing, seeing how the Red Bulls are, are on your heels, bunched up the top three. How do you remain consistent and remain out, uh, stand out from the pack? I think we have to, uh, to keep working hard. We have to keep doing what we've been doing from the beginning of the season. I think um, if we are where we are at the moment, it's because we are doing some good, uh, good things. And we have just to keep working, keep working even harder. I believe that we, we have what it takes to, uh, to finish in the top six. I strongly believe that it's still a long way to go because our, the league is tight and competitive. Um, but tonight was, uh, was a huge, huge win for us. And, uh, what is important now is to recover and, um, and we're going to start working again uh, from Tuesday.